So see, even if we summarize this, what are the possible things which may happen? What are the possible things we have to look at? The weather is very bad in Assam. During this period, we have a lot of rain. We things happen here. So the connection apparently falls down. Don't worry. Just summarize what we have done today. We are which one of the things we need to do is that we need to do of the action. What are we going to use? Correction of the needles, patient, and management of the accident. Yes, up, I already told you this point. Another thing which are there, you 20, and I Any time the accident will happen, so just buy one for step from the market, so there is the needle is Push the needle inside, otherwise there may be chance of infection. The best position is to not try to take the needle the quality of the so in this way, you manage most of the accidents. And if the patient has gone, become I have already told you, do not worry, do not bother the patient and maintain the attention. So all the time, calm down. Nervous. Am I clear everything in this part? Am I clear? Am I clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your voice I can hear now. No, no, you can hear, but are you clear with this topic? Hello? You are clear with this topic, no. everyone? Hello, sir. Who is speaking? May I please tell your name? This is this is Dr. Raja Pradap, sir. Now, Raja, tell me what is uh, the problem you are facing in this slide. So, voice is not clearly clear, sir. Your voice is not coming clear. I can hear you clearly. Hello, sir. Clearly. No, no, no. Some some more disturbance is coming out, sir. One minute. Someone, uh, yeah. Now some. Okay, okay, sir. Now we now clear, sir. Now it is ah, clear. Sir. So some people are shouting from the back, then that is the, uh, facing the problem. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, okay, sir. Now am I clear? Sir? Yeah, yeah, sir. Now, now clear, sir. Sir, now you tell you me. Please any doubt in the slides. No, 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 sir. Can you speak? Uh, can you? <laughs> Hello, sir. Are you want me to repeat everything? Hello, sir. Yeah, Raja. Yeah, yeah. sir. Yeah, sir. Please, please. Yeah, yeah. Sir. Okay, I'll make a summary Please, of sir. It, right? Okay, okay, sir. Okay, sir. See, what a acupuncturist must do, precautions, management, and failure of a patient. What may happen in the clinic and what things you do, do in treating a patient. First is diagnosis of the patient. Your diagnosis should be correct. Examine the pulse, tongue, and everything, and then come to a point. Then Mark the points in the body which you are going to use and why you are going to use it. Number two. Number three, then take what are the things you are going to use. You are going to use moksha, you are going to use moksha extinguisher, you are going to use needles, and then, then ascertain the position of the patient, in which position the patient will be comfortable for 30 to 40 minutes of needling. Right? Then take a cotton, clean that area. And then, depending on the depth of the needling, the point depth of the point, select the size of the needle. One inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, means one tune, two tune, three tune, four tune, five tune, or six tune. 
For example, in GV20, we use four tune to five tune. In PL52, we use different sizes of the needle in the different position of the patient, depending on the muscles and the size of the area. So generally, it is mentioned that the depth of the needling is always mentioned in the point. Which what is the depth of the point? So whenever the patient while needling, the patient may have some sweating, vomiting, what I go miss roaming of the head. So during this process, immediately uh, put off the needles, and the moment you put off the needles, it will be helpful and. Take the patient lie down, put the pressure on GV26, Q20, PC6, heart 7 and ST36 with SP6. Put some moksha there, patient may recover. But in rarest of the rare case, even if this does not recover the conscious of the patient, you can immediately phone up a doctor and put in the intellectual chair. Because if the patient is in the rarest of the rare. Never treat a patient. When he's tired, Ramadan period, and uh, never treat the patient and drunk. If he if he has consumed alcohol, treat him. If he's hungry, do not treat. Him. If he's overeaten, do not treat. Him. If he's in fatigue, do not treat. Him. Right? Okay. So, is something. And mark that area, use the forceps and take out the needle. Finish. Topic over. Everyone, raise your hands. So we will proceed to the next class. Right? Sadia, everyone okay? Next. So we are proceeding to the next class, okay? So now we'll be discussing about the moxibition. It is an important part of acupuncture. So whenever patient suffering from severe cold syndrome uh, or uh, different types of pain, if you are afraid of needling, moxa is also enough to recover the patient. So, moksha is called as a moksha wool. Generally, you burn the moksha and you put the needle in that. Uh, you rotate the uh, moksha from certain height on a, that patient. Okay. You can see the slides now. Okay, okay, sir. I'm going to mute card now. Hey, again, the weather is bad, the internet connection may go wrong, again we'll reconnect, okay? Condition is very bad in Assam right now. I can't control things. So you can see that this uh, chapter speaks that you can treat a disease by applying heat of the moksha. And whenever the patient gets heated up, remove that point. Because once the sufficient heat is absorbed, then only you fit some heat in the over surface of the skin. Take a moksha, burn it, and then when you put some heat over that area, 
you will see some heat over here. The moment the patient feels some heat, take away the point. Remove the moksha from that because the sufficient heat has been generated. The point has been digested. That is saturated with the heat. Because if you overheat that area, what will happen? It will create a blister on that area. So in chapter 73, it has been said the disease that may not be treated by acupuncture can be treated by moxibition. So 50% of the disease can be treated by what? Moxibition. When a disease fails to respond to medication and acupuncture, or just moxibition is what? Suggested. So four things they are in acupuncture, moxibition, tuna, and tai chi kong. These are the four bases of TCM. So here you can see the number, the name of the what you called how is Arithemisia vulgaris. So this is a species of uh, Christomenum. This is one produced in Kyushu and is known as the best kind of moksha. These leaves of Kyushu Arithemia are thick and are much more old. So this is a particular plant which has been used and these are like the wools. So remember one thing in moxibition, whenever needles do not help you, remember there is a damp or coldness in the body. So during this coldness, how to remove this internal pathogenic factor? I told you during my first class that there are some pathogenic factor which enters the body. But if the wind is entering the body, how to remove it? So this is the primary thing when the needles do not work means the needle, uh, the wind has gone at the deeper level, right? The pathogenic factor has gone at the deeper level. So what to do? Apply moksha. The heat will destroy the wind. Heat destroys what? Wind. So in during this case, it is said moksha leaf is bitter and acrid and producing warmth when used in small amount and strong heat when used in large amount. It is of pure young okay. nature and having the ability to restore the primary young from collapse. So it has the capacity to recover the collapse, means the sinking nature of the patient. It has been said during certain times if the patient is badly sinking, yeah. use moksha. Cream. It removes the uh, cold and it, it regulates the 12 meridian energy and the blood and expel the gold and deafness warm the uterus, stop bleeding, and warm the spleen, stomach, and remove stagnation, regulate menstruation, and is the fetus. So you can see, even in certain cases where there is low back pain and the patient is pregnant, use moksha on certain view points, recovery is fatafa. So there's no limitation in treating a patient. If you cannot treat a patient by needle, use laser. If you cannot treat by laser, use moksha. If you cannot treat the patient by moksha also, Use auricular acupuncture over here. If that also you cannot do, create holography on the scalp. If that also you cannot do, create holography on the palm. So in acupuncture, there is no limitation of recovery. Use this, 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 everywhere. Tuck, recovery. Tuck, recovery. Tuck, recovery. If you cannot recover from here, recover from here. If you cannot recover from here, recover from eyes. If you cannot recover from eyes, recover from teeth. If you cannot recover from teeth, use palm. If you cannot recover from palm, use abdomen. If you cannot recover from abdomen, go to the back area. So there is no limitation. And if something does not work, take the laser pen or you use moksha. Am I clear? Ahmedabad, clear? Sadia? Able to understand? Or am I fast? See, these things are very simple. Use moksha to recover. That's all. Rest all theories only. So, young crew can be activated by Artemisia leaf for its warmth nature. The acrid order of the leaf can travel through the meridian and regulate the pew and blood and expel the cold from the meridian. See, I told you from the pores of the skin, the wind may enter and it may struck off during the flow, it may struck the flow of the energy that is Q. And this may create a stagnation. Stagnation means you stop the flow of the energy, right? And during this process, if you do, use the moksha. This is a mild heat which penetrates the skin and this penetration of the skin removes the wind 
and removal of the end means removing the pathology and then you recover that area beautifully and this is called what oxidation here see wind has entered my body through the skin it has blocked the meridian now use some heat in certain points of the moksha heat enters from the skin to the meridian it opens the block the patient recovers simple needle lip opens the block and you also open the block raja pratap going somewhere during the class see these people think i don't know make them sit in the seminar room and make them wake up up to midnight to warm meridians and expel the gold i already told you if stagnation of blood is in the vessels cannot be treated by warming up the moksha it cannot be treated by acupuncture ah see chapter 75 says if stagnation of the blood in the vessels cannot be treated by warming up the moxibition it cannot be treated by acupuncture then how treat it by bleeding i told you now there is no limitation you cannot use moksha moksha is not beneficial needling is not beneficial now stagnation is there click and that roll came out <laughs> patient recovers so there is no limitation i don't know what is the limitation limitation in your head no din acupuncture so when needle is not helpful go to laser pain if laser pain is not helpful take moksha if moksha is not helpful then take what bleeding and bleeding is not helpful than tuna sending of the muscle so if you do all this <coughs> patient recovered raja not leaving the class during the class period i'll make you not sleep for the whole night ah so another function of moksha vision is to give blood to flow upward mute kar do and for example moksha on k1 to treat the disorder the cause of the excess part of the deficiency in the lower part of the body so see you will see there are certain deficiencies in the higher area and there are certain deficiencies which are in the lower area so for example when you want to treat the upper area which we will use certain times we put it is on k1 for example i am having lot of low back pain right it is not recovered by the treatment of the local area what to do use moksha on kd1 so using kd1 you will see lot of recovery in cervical region also lot of recovery in the low back area also so kidney one gives lot of recovery in low back area. you can hear me everyone raise your hands class one kuda yeah mere class one kuda yeh pista free ga na plan cheskunna time yeh raise so when there is an excess in the queue of the upper portion you should go down the down i told you whenever there is excess bring it down and whenever there is less tonify and set it so moksha can be done with the both the level you can tonify the uh, uh, meridian you can set it the meridian using certain points so deficiency can be uh, uh recovered by tonification and uh, if there is high reduce it and if it is low increase it said it and tonification can be done by moksha also if the disorder is due to deficiency in the upper portion and excess in the lower portion due to sinking of q caused by deficiencies such as prolapse of anus prolapse of uterus poclone diarrhea etc moksha on gv20 may lead to young q to flow upward see you import see what is the importance here when there is an excess of q in the upper portion right when there is a excess energy in the upper portion the lower energy goes down understood see it is a imbalance of energy so if there is one is high other has to be low so if the upward is high the lower has to be low right high or low you understood if this upper portion energy is high the lower patient energy is low so if the disorder is due to deficiency of the upper portion and the excess lower portion is due to sinking of q connects caused by deficiency 
So you will see in lower portion the energy is sinking. Higher it is increasing and lower is sinking. And during this position, you will see prolapsed of anus. The anus is prolapsed. From where you take out your uh pechana karte ho, jansa latrin karte ho, wo anus area hota, the lower part of the intestine, wo prolapse hoja, it becomes very difficult for you to manage that area and products of the uterus, proclone diarrhea, even you can see certain cases where there is continuous diarrhea and there is no recovery in diarrhea. During this process, what to do? Use moxa on DV20. One single point can recover it in. You understood? So much importance of moxa. You will use a lot of North Fox TJ, sometimes Mimosic F, they does not work on the patient. And if they work also, they create a lot of constipation. But what you need to do? Take one moksha, put some heat on GV20, restore the young, young deficiency, patient recovers. Sorry. Young Q is the foundation of the human body. If in a sufficient condition, a man lives a long life, if it is lost, death occurs, young disorder is to do you to excess of in. I told you already, if there is a young, if there is in is high, young has to be low. If young is high, in is low. So whenever there is some shock or some problem in the human life, excess stress, then in becomes high and young becomes low. Then in consumes the young or in, be it any factor, simple. In is high, young is low. So what to do? During this position, you will see the hands are cold, lot of exhaustion in the patient, and then you will see the pulse are very sinking level, and it is almost like a fatal. So it is said at that moment, apply the and reinforce the NQ and prevent the collapse. So patient may collapse during this time. So very important when the, you find such situation when the cold, the hands are cold, even during this uh, hematomas or during vasovedical sync up, you will see the hands become very cold, the patient is sinking, apply the moksha. Moksha is like Brahman. It's a very important tool for the recovery of the patient. Certain cases which are not recovered by needling, always use moksha. Patient is never afraid, patient is never afraid of moksha. No side effect, only remember whenever you see the patient area is heated up, remove moksha from that particular area. Take moksha roll, Put in a circle wise, you see, area becomes heated. Patient says, ah, remove that area. Finish. Simple treatment. Acupuncture is a very simple treatment. It does not have any side effect. Only you should know what is the disease and how to treat it. Treat the most critical disease in the most easiest way. Anyone who travels towards the southwest part of the China, such as young men, Xuchin province, should have moxa at two point or three points into prevent sores or boils to avoid pernicious malaria, epidemic disease, and pest. See, I have already told you, you will see in many cases in China, those who live, will remain in Yunnan province. There are in Yunnan province, if you see, patients are having a lot of malarial disease and all. Even in Assam, in certain corners of Assam, like Arunachal Pradesh and other areas, you will see there are a lot of chances of having what? Malaria. So what to do? During this process, wherever you go in this direction, where is the, where the weather is damp, you are changing or you are going in a cold direction like Jammu and Kashmir, take Moksha roll and use ST36, Jun Sali, CV4, CV6, GV4 and CV12. These four points are magical points. For example, you are going to a place, you are feeling indigestion because of cold, you see you eat a food, and immediately you start vomiting. You can't digest your food. That means you understand there's a cold inside the body. So what to do? Use ST36, CV4, CV6, and CV12. And if you do it regularly, it is said a man maintains a whole day life. So every physician who maintains and sees a lot of kids who is always in stress, use these three or four points for five, two or three minutes. Apply moksha to yourself and your health is restored. It is said those who use this, they live a very long. So what are the points? ST36, CV4, CV6, GV4, and CV12. Right now, a small one.
So you can use the moksha directly. Open the moksha, tear it, hit it, and rotate it. Same moksha can be applied on the needle side. How to apply? Put needle, put some uh, hard paper at the base of the needle. You inserted a needle here, then put some base. Put some base on the needle, some paper, so that when you burn the needle, the heat does not burn the skin. So the extra paper which you have put in between the needle, it will not destroy the area. You understood? What to do? This is a paper. You inserted a needle, just tear it like this and put it in between the needles. So that the, when the heat is burned, it does not create a blister on the skin. So extra heat, the purpose is that the needle, the heat should go from the needle to the from the moksha to the needle, needle to the meridian, but not in the skin. So if there is excess heat sometime in the skin area, so how to avoid it? Put some, take one paper, hard paper, tear it, and put it in between the needle, right? So that you do not create any blister. Am I clear, Asan? You understood what did I say? Abdul, you understood what did I say? Jalil? Raise your hand if you understood. You understood? Yes, sir. You understood, everyone? Kushit, you understood what, what did I say? Yes, sir. Good. So one thing you should understand, you may use some garlic juice inside order to increase the addition of the moksha and came to skin and then put the moksha on at the point and ignite it. See, you can learn moksha in many ways. You can put one garlic, so put some holes and put some moksha over here. But be careful. The moment the patient is feeling it, remove the moksha garlic. You understood what did I say? What did I say? Create some moksha cones. Cut, cut. Like this. Some cone. Ladies know how to create cones. So take one garlic, cut it down, put on the regular area, and put some moksha over here. And then burn it. The moment the patient says he is feeling heat, remove the garlic. Otherwise, there will be blisters. Do not excessively heat that area. And you see, more important is that you may apply some garlic juice or onion juice. It improves the condition. Before applying it, we say in a spirit, first clean it by spirit and then put some onion or garlic juice on that particular area. It improves the efficacy of the treatment and more important is you can use it in certain chronic conditions such as asthma. Use some Bexu points, Tung points in this condition for asthma and you get very good effect. I did many times. So whenever the patient feels discomfort, just remove the heat. And otherwise, you'll see some problem. And such condition, you see that uh, asthma, chronic diarrhea, even in low back pain, cervical radiculopathy, when the pain is radiating from year to year, the when is patient uh, lack of a uh, lot of vertigo, indigestion, hundreds of problems. When the feet is cold, during all this period, if you see, moksha vision is much, much. So, when nothing works, moksha works. If that does not work, this works. If that does not work, scalp acupuncture works. If that does not work, ten works. If ten does not work, two works. If two does not work, Japanese works. If Japanese does not work, Korean works. So in acupuncture, you have large number of techniques, large number of methods. Learn all the methods and apply it as per the patient's requirement. 
Just do not focus on only TCM or this one. So this is called indirect moxibition. You do it through, I told you, you cut a ginger and apply some oxagons and you will see some good area recovering in this area. And you use it on certain points and which will help you in curing diarrhea, abdominal pain, painful joints and symptoms of young deficiency. Even in rheumatoid arthritis, when the joints are very painful. When you have a, a multiple joint pain, polyarthritis, even in cases of SLE, autoimmune disease, you will find that this type of treatment is very helpful. So mostly the chronic disease, pain and stomach deficiency is there. And gold them by means you see by syndrome occurring in these patients. So apply acute ginger acupuncture on certain areas. You will clap your hands and always say, Yes, I did it. Because no physician, no one will come to pet your back. Yes, without medicine, without not flux jet, applying heat on a certain point after three minutes. Ah, feeling better. Ah, what did you do? I did moksha. So the size of the uh, is 0.5 cm. Cut a slice, moxivision with garlic. How to do it with garlic? Cut a slice of garlic about 0.5 cm thick. And a large single clove of garlic is desirable. Punch holes on it and put it on the point with the ignite moksha. For example, take one moksha. Small moksha, cut the bigger moksha rolls in small piece. Take a clove, clove means one part of the garlic and put it on the affected area, then put the clove over, then put the moksha over there and put some heat. So, the method is indicated as scrofula. Where do you use this type of method? It is used for tuberculosis, early stages of skin cancer, skin ulcer, sorry, skin ulcer, boys, poisonous snake, insect bite, for example, beer. Uh, be this sting or some ants which sting up, then you will find this case very good skin ulcer, abdominal masses, and non -ulcer, uh, ulcerated carbuncles. So, after four to five cones, replace the garlic. So, generally, you should see the moment the patient feels uncomfort, remove that area. So, up to that, use one garlic for four or five moksha. After some time, the patient will say, Ah, it. The moment the skin feels the heat, do not repeat the process. But till the patient feels the heat, you have to continue. So generally five to seven cones are required in this type of treatment. Scrofula is a term of lymphodenopathy of the neck, usually the result of an infection in the lymph nodes, not just lymphodenitis. Lymphodenitis, right. Tuberculosis is an infection of bacterial infection caused by the growth of nodules. In the tissue, especially the lungs. So, lung tuberculosis and all this during it gives a very good palliative care. Patients should continue antibiotics, so not stop it. But with this, if you give this type of treatment, patient gets a better recovery. Moxivision with salt. This is applied at the umbilicus. So, it is called as a moxivision at CVA point. Fill the umbilicus with salt and the level of the skin. Place a large moxa cone on the top of the salt. And then ignite. If the patient of ambiguous is not concave or in shape, a piece of wet needle can be put around the umbilicus and then fill the felt in it. You understood? Well, very simple thing. You will see certain patients having a lot of problems, digestion problems, especially in the small children and all. So what to do? Even in the bigger page, the, there is umbilicus code over here. Umbilicus, right? Put the salt inside. Or put something and put the salt, some round cocks or something. Put the salt and then put a moksha roll on it, moksha cone. So it is a very good treatment for abdominal pain, vomiting, diarrhea, pain around the umbilicus pain caused by hernia, prolonged dysentery. In addition, moxibition with salt has the function to restore the young from collapse. Example symptoms of excessive sweating, cold limbs, Undetachable pulse. Large moksha can may be used successively until sweating stops, pulse is stored, and four extremities get warm. 
very simple you see certain for extremity two hands two palms getting cold diarrhea unstable pulse simple put the salt in the umbilicus cord put moksha roll moksha over here burn it see the man but always remember if the patient feels discomfort please whatever heat is required the body has absorbed do not excessively heat that area a coin side with make moksha all monks would powder mixed with alcohol is punched with numerous holes in it and placed on the side that moksha cone is ignited since it is the heat nature then monks would may warm the young and expel the cold this method is only suitable to treat if this you don't apply monks monks would is don't apply monks sake not good for you See, this is also another type of skin ulceration that resists healing or in abscess, cabinets where the pus will not be dispersed. So, whenever you see the pus is not dispersed and anything is there, use paper moksha. Paper means you will ask some ladies, not paper. We call in Hindi gold marriage, black paper. So, what you do need, you need to make white paper. Use the powder of the white paper. It is black and white. So, you go to market, get a paper, make the powder. Mix it with some flour, atta, wheat flour or something. Mix paper with flour, small quantity, and spread about 0.1 inch thick. The side should of that area should be what? 0.1 inch thick. So small flour, mix some water, and it should be spread on the one inch thick area. The size of that what do you call it? material should be one inch. Take small with flour mix it with white paper and make it 1 inch thick like this apply here and then put some moksha on certain points like st36 and all and you will see immediate relief in numbness and stiffness of joints and relief of pain instead results apply and see Excessive syndrome and heat syndrome, including high fever caused by common cold heat due to indefinition, are not allowed to be caused by treated by moksha. So, see, also remember, excessive syndromes cannot be treated by moksha because it is heat. Only cold syndromes are treated by moksha. Am I right? Do not treat excessive. For the example, the patient is having high fever, and you put moksha there, patient will have side effects. Scaring moksha should not be applied to the face, head, and the areas of the vicinity of large blood vessels. So, wherever large blood vessels are there, do not apply moksha. And vital organs close to the eyeballs. Means eyeball, genitals, balls, vagina. Do not apply moksha over that area. Some people, for importance, applied moksha near the penis. Don't do that foolishness. Patient will nah, trust you. Don't do ulta sida treatment. To proper treatment. Right, Ashan? Am I clear? Don't do ulta siddha. Huh? Don't apply moksha near the genital. One patient went and he applied the moksha near the genital. Next day I saw the penis is half burned. Uh, then, shut up. Apply it properly in a proper way. This method is very good. When there is lumbrosacral pain in pregnant women are not allowed for moksha, but on certain areas you may treat. You cannot leave a patient on pain. You may not treat it here, but if you put some moksha on this point, in this point, some heat over here, the pain subsides. How to put, where to put, that is a secondary question. So, SP6, LI4, you cannot touch. But you can use holography. You can use here the wrist microacupuncture to recover low back pain of the ligament. Simple. If this is not applied here, apply something else somewhere else. After moksha, different degrees of burns may remain in the local area, or there is slightly a red sign of burning. 
which will disappear very soon. Sometimes few blisters result in the skin surface. Always remember, we should try to protect the patient with skin blisters. Take care not to let small blisters to break. They can build by themselves. Large blisters should be punctured and drained. If passes from the blisters should be dressed to prevent further infection. So generally, we will say one ointment is there. Forgot the name. Burn all and all you will find in the market. Ashan, what do you use during this burning? I forgot the name of the ointment. Ashan. Uh, Sofra machine. No, 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 no. Uh, there is one other uh, ointment which we use during the burning, na? Burn infection, burning, burn. No, burn all only. Burn all and one more. I forgot the name. Just keep one burner or something like that in your clinic when you use moksha. If you see some blisters, apply that. And apply some ice. If you see blisters. Right? So generally what I advise is just take some uh, burnol and apply it. That's all. This is over. Now we'll go to the third class. So now we'll be discussing about the meridians. And with this, our class will be over. Abusa recording. Abusa class. So we will be discussing about the principal meridians of the body. It's just a gripping of the topic. So what did we learn? In and young, pathogenic factors, gene foo organs, and now we have completed moksha, uses of moksha. How to use it, where to use of the disease, we'll learn later on. But for now, we understood moxibition. Result of moxibition. Moxibition helps that we have understood. Now points, meridians, and this and treatment, right? So easy. So one thing you should understand, the energy means it's a channel which is connected to the young organs and the in organ. So there are six channels which are connected to the young organ, six channels to the in organ. And two are the, there are 12 ministers, cabinet ministers, and two are the principal cabinet secretaries. Understood? So, 12 meridians are young, 6 are young, 6 are in. So, 3 in the hands are young, 3 in the in. I told you that this is what in meridian, this is what young meridian. So, here 3 are young. What are the young? Li is young, triple warmer is young, and this Si is what? Young. Those channel organs which continuously work is in. And those who work in interruption is what? Yeah. So those who are exposed to sun. This is exposed to sun. It is dark. So these are called young meridians. And this is not exposed to sun. So it is called what? In meridian. What are the in meridians in the hands? Lung, pericardium, heart. Clear? Is it clear? Yes, sir. So generally the three sets of four meridians that are related to each other, energy circulates in a loop. When Q gets disrupted, you got a problem. Fatigue, pain, swelling, I told you. So you have to make the flow well again using moksha, 
needling, various processes, tuna, tai chi, and all this. So two upper, uh, I told you, one in, one yang, coupled with two lower extremity medicine. One thing, three in, three yang, three in, three yang, right? Three in yard, three yang yard, three in yard, three yang yard, yard, one in leg, one in hand. Three, three, six, three, nine, three, twelve, right? So six young meridian, six in meridian. Three in the hand, three in the leg, right? Now don't confuse with yin and yang. There, when to use this, when to use that. That we'll teach later on. For now, just understand three in meridians, three young meridians. It are on the left hand also, it is on the right hand also. How to use them, where to use them, when to use them is a second chapter. See, now comes the command points. There are 64 command points in the body. They are called the transporting points, right? So these are from the wrist to the elbow. They are called the transporting points, right? So 12 fibers are 60. 60 transporting points are always there in the body. So these are called what? Commanding points. It is called uh, so stream, jing, jing well, jing river, jing. These are five from year to year. And last comes the he see. So stream, this jing, jing well, jing river, so jing stream, I forgot. Is a five. So 12 fives are 60. 60 commanding points. And then four more are there, extra points. So there are 64 transporting points used in the body. These are called the five element points also. So during triangular theory and all these points are used. During uh, 10 internal balance, these points are used. During various processes, these points are used. And these are from toes to the knee and it hands from the tip of the finger to the elbow. So these are in the five direction. It is said that if a river falls from the upper side, this is called Jingwell point. From here, when it reaches the elbow, it becomes the Hishi, means the broader side. So in the elbow, just for example, LI11 is the Hishi point, ST36 is the what? Hishi point, it is near the knee. But when you see liver, this is, LU12, LU11, lung 11. So whenever you see there about the lung 11. Hello, sir. I did not get you, sir. One second. Can you please make? Hello, sir. Uh, this is Raja. Is, uh, who is speaking? Name? Raja, Raja Pratap, sir. Dr. Raja Pratap. Uh, Raja, tell me what Raja is Raja Okay, 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 sir. Uh, what, can you please tell me one second about uh, transporting points? See, transporting, transporting points. points are those points which consist of five element points, right? Yes. So, how many yes. elements are there in the body? Five? Five elements. Five. Right? So, how many meridians five. are there? Four Twelve. meridians. Plus two. Twelve. Yes. Three young, three in. Three? three in. Six. Okay. Three young. Okay. Three. Three. How much? Six. Six. In leg, how much? Three plus three is six. 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 How much total? Total twelve. 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 Twelve into five, how much? Sixty. Sixty, right? So right. how many command points are there? Sixty, sir. Very good. And where are they situated? Which area of the body? Uh -huh. From the tip of the finger? From the tip of the... To elbow. To the? To elbow. 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 Yeah. In elbow, it ends. And what is called the point of the elbow? He, she. He, she. Right. He, she. She. Male, female. Chakla. <laughs> he, she point, right? And this is called what? Jingwell. Heart. Jingle. Right? The tip of the finger is called what? Jingle. 
and it ends in what? Ishi point, right? Yes. They are very. They are called commanding points. You can do large number of cases just by only say sixty points. So non-command points are other meridian um, points like. Uh, you can see a lot of points are there in the body. So every point is it on indications, on stories, but when you speak about the commanding point, there is a commanded situation. So this is another theory on commanding situation like ten internal balance, global balance. You may use this commanding points to recover a disease. So you can see Taiyang. From bottom to tip, fish, cow. We later on explain. So this is the heart meridian. This is the kidney. This is the small intestine. This is the bladder. What is sowing? What is tying? So you can see this is tying. Tying is what? In hand, tying is what? Young is what? Here, young is what? Which meridian is young? Small intestine. We'll explain you all this later on. You'll get confused. So, whenever you see there is a circuit of this, you will understand it in the balanced method of I Ching. When you need to treat uh, certain diseases, you use yang to treat yang, you treat in to treat in, you use tai yang to treat shao in, you use tai yang to treat shao in. And then see, there are six channels. What is tai yang, ta, tai yang, shao yang, yang min. Tai in, shao in, ju in. Right? So, whenever you need to treat, you may create one circuit to treat a certain complicated cases of sleep this and other problems. So these six channels are represented by what? Tayang, Shaoyang, Yang Min. Means two channels of the leg and hand are called Tayang. Two channels of the hand and leg are called Tayang, Shaoyang. And two channels of the hand and lung are called Yang Min. Right? Tayin means two channels of the in. Shaoyin. Two channels of the in, one in the leg, one in the hand, and juin. So two channel, one, two channels, one of the hand, one of the in is called juin. So last part is the pericardium. So tayang, shaoyang, yang min, tayin, shaoyin, juin. Right? Understood? Raise your hands. Ahmedabad. Khushid. Hey. Sir, ek bar, uh, yeah, एक बार फिर से बोले पढ़ाया था ना भी तायां ये फिंगर पे सर लोकेशन 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 क्या है बेटा एक बात समझ लो दे आर सिक्स चैनल्स राइट ओके तो व्हाट आर द सिक्स चैनल्स तायां 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 शाओयां यांगमिन Right? So one meridian yes, of the right. hand and one meridian of the leg is called what? Tayang. Couples. Tayang. One Couple. meridian of the hand and one meridian of the leg is called Shaoyang. Hmm. One meridian of the hand and one meridian of the leg is called what? Yang. So in Yang, there are three meridians, six meridians. Each is called a couple. One meridian of the hand has to marry with the one meridian of the what? Leg. So they are couples. Okay. You understood? Okay. Young couple. Understood. And one is the in couple. So one meridian of the hand has to marry the other meridian of the leg. So tie in of the hand has to marry the tie in of the leg. You understood? <laughs> The Shao Yang has to marry one meridian of the hand to the Shao in of the leg. 
you invest one meridian in the hand one meridian in the leg for example taiyang one has one meridian in the hand one meridian in the leg chaoyang chaoyang has one meridian in the hand one in the leg yangmin has one meridian in the hand one in the leg taiyin also leg. has one meridian in the hand one in the leg chaoyin also leg. has one meridian in the hand one in the leg and juin has also one meridian in the hand one in the leg right for example when you have a lot of low back pain right what will you treat will you treat the bladder channel no if you even treat the kidney channel pain of the bladder channel what that's right you understood yes sir so if you see kidney and bladder is correlated but that you will find in i ching tayang treats tying all these things you will find in that order we should not confuse right now so one one should understand that this combination sao in tayang combination also treat large number of diseases which will understand in a later level for example if you have pain in the central back pain and neck pain and knee pain use sao in stimulate for energy and support of ki so you use sao in and ki so what is sao in for example i am having lot of cervical spondylitis which point i will use si3 put si3 and zong by here this pain immediately my leg is stiff it's not moving at night i slept ah morning very severe pain like this ah oh what to do where to go this is the groaning sound which point you will use tell me very simple here point is the four Four, four, long by one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Here you put one needle, and you put one needle here, and rotate it here. When you place this needle, and ask the patient to move his neck towards you. I have to do a large number of points with a point zero four and long by. This and this, this two point combination, master combination with S I three, last three combination, huh? S I three a point zero four, Zhong Bai, pain recovered. You understood, Raja? Yes, sir. Raja, yes, sir. Raja, Raja, Raja Pratap, Regula. You understood? See, there are six channels. Each is one in the hand, one in the leg, right? So we have one channel, principal meridian, Taiyang, in one in hand and one in the leg. Taiyang, one in the hand, one in the leg. Shaoying, one in the hand, one in the leg. And Yangmin, one in the hand, one in the leg. Similarly, Juin, one in the hand, one in the leg. So now. If you have certain problems like cervical radiculopathy and the pain is very high, you slept on the pillow and it is not moving. Ah, oh, are very painful. What to do? How to go? Ah, oh, oh, and the neck goes like this. Ah, oh, sir, put moksha on. Zong bai, and use the trigger points. Put some laser point on the trigger points and use moksha or needle on zong bai. Manipulate it like this. Yes, it goes like this. Within two minutes, severe pain subsides. So you can here you can see a principal meridian Ta Yang and Sao in combination. It helps a lot of things. You can see for back pain, you can write down this point. Very important point. SI three BL forty BL sixty kidney three heart seven. It's a circuit N plus one for back pain. Very good. So 
So when there is a low back pain, what will you do? Use SI3, BL40, BL50. You will find this in uh, when I teach uh, other circuits and all, you will find. But then this heart and kidney circuit recovers a lot of disease. Small intestines and bladder. This is a correlation. Tayang combination with sowing. So now it comes doing and sawyang combination. It's triple heater and gold bladder. This is what? MH means what? Prakashji, MH ka matlab kya hota hai? MH? Haan. Sir, click nahi ho raha hai. MH ka matlab nahi malo? Nahi, yaad nahi ho raha hai. PH का मतलब क्या होता है? Triple liter. MH और कहाँ आता है? Connection गया क्या? MH का याद नहीं आ रहा है. Hello. के लिए वो मैं आपको बाद में बताऊँगा. MH, NH. खाली ऐसे जस्ट तो पढ़ा देते हैं इसको थोड़ा सा। I'll just explain you, but when we go in details with the treatment of from I Ching acupuncture, you learn this at that time. Now I'm just giving you a brief. What the principal meridian? So Sao Yang GB represents the Sao Yang, right? Gold bladder represents the Sao Yang. So while treating shoulder pain, hip pain, lateral headache, you'll find lot of problem in Sao Yang. That is GB meridian, one-sided headache and all. So you can treat it with the Juin combination. Shaoyang combines with Juin, right? The problem in the Shaoyang, you combine it with what? Juin. So if there is a pain in the headache, use liver problem. Liver. For example, I'm aiming migraine on the one side. What are the points I may use? I may use liver three points of liver. Even using this liver, even in hip pain, if there is for example, you have a pain. With what? Liver. Point of the liver we have to use. So you can use triple level of GB34 and GB40 doing and so young combination with MH6 and liver 3. What is MH6? We'll say you later on. But yes, this is a combination. So this is Thai Yang and Yang Min combination. This is lung spleen combination. Large combination. This Thai so when you see young men is the most interior pain. So whenever the pain is on the side, use young men. Most important role is in digestion. You should have pain, large intestine, go. The so most important role is with digestion, spleen, large intestines. and stomach. So these are the channels which are important with the digestion of the patient. So whenever there is some problem in digestion, you should understand. Thai and Yang Min combination is very good. Use spleen, large intestines, and stomach. Lung is used for lung and felgum problems. So Yang Min and Thai in combination. So combination is what? Whenever this such problem is there, use Li4, SP36, Lu7, SP9, SP6. It's a beautiful combination of Thai in and Yang Min combination for various diseases. Li4, SP36, Lu7, SP9, SP6. So if we call it circuit, three principal meridian circuit. So Shaoyin Taiyang circuit for back pain 
energy anxiety issues joe in sayang a collateral pain head shoulder elbow anger muscle spasm sayang young men concept for abdominal pain respiratory disorder and anterior issues so you have you see tain and young men it's a circuit so you have to combine three principal meridian circuits so what are the three circuits you may combine is sayang and tayang circuit one circuit is what sayang and tayang correct second circuit is juin and sayang and third circuit is tayin and yang min so in this we have completed three principal part one is a brief introduction to circuit and by combining this circuit which points you have already get received rather will give you this slides also the video of this slide also but very simple thing if you combine certain points with certain channels you get instant results certain things you have to memorize certain things you have to understand but overall if you see a treatment of a patient in acupuncture the knowledge is very well in allopathic treatment if you memorize 70 80 medicines 70 80 processes okay fine you can treat normal cases but in acupuncture those combinations are there if this combination does not work you have to switch over to the other one so you have to be very clear with the diagnostic part and usage of the meridians i just i agreed you to uh, that principal meridian means if you combine certain circuits you get a very good result so what are the circuits i'll repeat you again shaoyin and taiyang circuit Beautiful circuit, Juin and Shaoyang circuit, and Taiyin and Yangmin circuit. How many circuits are there? Three circuits which we have calculated it is Taiyin, Yangmin, Juin, Shaoyang, and Shaoyin. What? Taiyang. So these three circuits, if combined together, they give a beautiful result in large number of. So this slides we will give it to you, and I hope you enjoyed the class. And by now we have completed uh, many major issues. One is Yin and Yang. Second, we have completed a brief introduction to the circuits. Third, we have completed a principal management of the patient, how to use the needle. And fourth, we have uh, concluded the history of acupuncture. so in this all combination if you see the treatment is very good you have to understand the treatment in a proper way circuit treatment i'll teach you how to use it properly in coming slides when we i teach you ten balance method the circuits will help you to understand a lot of this right sabko unmute kar do ha raja pratap any doubt unmute karo I can't hear you, Raja. One minute. No one. One minute. One minute. Hello, sir. Ah, now I can hear you. Tell me. Okay, sir. It is my humble request, sir. Request, sir. Hello, sir. I can hear you. Tell me. I think. Uh, Okay, sir. I think our class is going little bit fast, sir. This is my humble request. Can you make it slowly, sir? Uh, Hello, sir. It's very difficult for me to speak slowly. <laughs> I am very sorry. <laughs> But this video will be uploaded, okay? <laughs> this video will be okay, uploaded okay, in YouTube. Okay, sir. Okay. So, I, okay, sir. It becomes very difficult for me to speak too okay. slow. <laughs> Okay, sir. Okay, sir. I'll try. Okay, but, sir. Uh, see, uh, try to understand. We are professors. We are at home. Okay, 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 sir. Okay, okay, sir. The class okay, is sir. recorded. Okay. Huh? So only one thing. Regular. I'll repeat what I have taught you right now in this. See, there is a circuit. Circuit means one has to combine with the other to give a proper direction to the flow of the energy. Right. so there are three important circuits right what are three important circuits i think the uh, shaoyin and taiyang combination okay right? sir this one what you right. can see shaoyin and taiyang 
combination. So you okay, can so use this when the patient is having low back pain, sleep disc, spondylitis, uh, fatigue, lot of anxiety, depression. You can use this combination. Like the young combination. I have given you the points there, right? Jo and Shao Yang combination. It is in the lateral part. That is in the head. So one side is headache. One side. Like migraine you have. When the migraine is on the GV channel. You can use this combination. Jo and Shao Yang combination. So when the head is periarthritis, frozen shoulder, Jo and Shao Yang. Right? So Tain and Yang mean combination. So this combination is used because there is a lot of acidity, acidity, abdominal pain, respiratory disorder. When the patient is in the anterior area, a chronic problem, you suffer from this. You can use this combination. A short formula. Combine this to get a proper result in proper. Tai Yang means first level. So if the disease is in Tai Yang, you can use Saiyan combination with Taiyan, right? When the disease is in Shaoyang, you combine it with Juin level. And when the combination is with Yang level, you combine it with Tai. So this is a very simple combination. Combination of two channels give a clear result. Good right? Now, how much slow I will be there in this? Combine it. <laughs> This much, okay, this much okay, sir. This much okay. This much okay. Ah, Doubt? Yes, sir. What is your? No, doubt? sir. Clear. Clear? Yeah? Everything clear. Pakaji. Okay, sir. समझ में आई बात? लेकिन थोड़ा slow, थोड़ा slow चल होगा. अरे नहीं होता है कि मर्सिडीज में बैठोगे और आप बोलोगे चलाओ मेरे बच की बात नहीं है मर्सिडीज में बैठे हो तो मर्सिडीज का मजा लेना होगा नहीं ठीक है फिर भी स्लो अरे नहीं होता इससे स्लो मुझसे इनको भी घर जाना है इनके लेवल भी बहुत है मेरा जो इंजीनियर उसको घर जाना है उसके तीस किलोमीटर दूर है � बेटा बोलो कुछ पूछना है तो अंगूठे जगह से नहीं होगा क्लियर सर समझ में आया बेटा ये कंबिनेशन है सर्किट कंबिनेशन बोलते हैं कंबिनेशन को यूज कैसे करना वो पॉइंट्स मालूम है मार के देख लो तुम्हें रिजल्ट मिल जाएगा लो बैक पेन का मालूम है ये कंबिनेशन यूज कर लो साइन तायंग कंबिनेशन गूगल में जाओ पॉइंट्स देख लो और मार के देखो रिजल्ट आ जाएगा इसको सर्किट बोलते हैं well, a combination of certain points in a proper way, you give it a good results, right? Ashan? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, clear to you? Yeah, clear, clear. Any doubt? No, clear. I am slightly Only fast. I have no option. I can't speak slowly. Okay, okay. But this video will be uploaded. You hear it properly, huh? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Abdul Jalil? Yes, sir. What is your doubt? No, no, no doubt, sir. Clear. Clear? clear. Combination clear? Clear. Three principal meridian circuit. Clear. Clear, sir. Now, uh, Akshbanu Muhammad. Akshbanu? Hello, sir. 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 Which you have to use. Left side this, right side this. I have already shown you. Okay, sir. You can see yes, I have sir. shown okay. you here. Thank you, sir. This. Okay, sir. Okay, okay, okay. How to use it? We'll show you later on. But now you understand these are some circuits, right? So these are called the okay, sir. Okay. circuit. Thank you, sir.
ठीक है नहीं समझ में आने से ठीक बोलना ऐसे ठीक मत बोलना ओ आईफोन विद दिस पिंक वन पुटिंग योर हैंड्स इन योर माउथ आई डोंट नो योर नेम हेलो हाँ यस मैडम व्हाट इज योर नेम सर माय नेम इज प्रियंका ओ प्रियंका गुप्ता दुबई यस सर हाँ टेल मी दुबई the my uh, question is that like you've put gb39 also and gb40 also so how do we decide which one to use when sir no no you written triple th5 no no no, no 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 very Th simple thing yes. if you want to combine this combination put these yes, points triple letter 5 okay. gb34 gb40 okay the circuit it's a circuit but uh, in gb only you've put two points Like uh, in uh, UB also, like we have BL forty and BL sixty, sir. Yes. So yes. My, my yes, that's why I was just wondering. No, no, it's a circuit. We have I made this. Uh, uh, I have used this circuit. I got it. Okay. So, I use uh, sir GB four also and GB forty also both to be used, sir. Yes. In yes. GB. Yes, yes. Okay. If you use this two okay. and this three, it becomes a circuit. Yes. A triple warmer and GB becomes a circuit. All three points. Yes. Okay. Okay, sir. You understood? Yes, sir. Now I have got it. Yes. Three. Three plus two becomes five. Hmm. Uh, yes, sir. Sir, समझ में आया ना? एक नहीं reuse करोगे तो काम नहीं होगा. इसको हटा दो. Lever three को हटा तो काम नहीं होगा. कमर का दर्द भी घुमते रहोगे. Hmm. All all five need to be used. So it's basically five elements we need. We are using. Keep. Don't combine with your five element again. Okay. Circuit means circuit. All right. Don't combine this with this. Punjabi ko na Japani star ka kamat mar dena. ठीक है सर. समझ में आया? Right sir. ये वो Japani लोग ना गोल मिर्ची वो मिर्ची मुर्ची नहीं खाते Punjabi खाना मत खिला देना. नहीं सर नहीं खिलाएंगे. अरे बाहर को ये chicken biryani मत खुवा देना अब को वो मोमत का खाना मत खिला देना मारेगा नहीं तो वो ही बात है इसका. Right, sir. Right. It's a circuit. Yes, sir. It is sir. a circuit, right? Right, right, sir. Right, sir. Right. Okay, Jain, how are you? Any? Ah. Uh, any? Any security? Any? Any? Can you hear me? I can. Ah, uh, tell me what are your doubts? Any, you have any doubts? Your camera is also not focusing. Your hands are on the camera anyway. What are your doubts? Any, your doubts? What is your doubt, Amy? Any, any? any? Over. So see, I just gave you an introduction. There are certain combination, certain things. If you combine properly, you will get instant result. Right, sir. Yes. And these are called the circuits. And if you make a proper circuit, you give a better result. See, I will explain you about this circuit after I complete ten in ten balance methods. And after using balance methods, put needle here, keep pain gone. Put needle here, pain gone. Put needle here, pain gone. So without even coming to me, you can recover pain in ten seconds, twenty seconds, thirty seconds. Yes. Focus on your studies. These slides are I hope uh, with you. Uh, the one lecture of yesterday has been uploaded in YouTube. You can re-study. Doubts? Come to me. The links have been also given. Go to YouTube and click on YouTube. Online webinar class, M K Shastri. So go to YouTube and you, online webinar class, M K Shastri. You will get yesterday's class, right? You bring that one to Mumbai, okay? Okay, Priyanka. Yes. Ah, uh, so what do I type? Online webinar group. Class. Okay. And then type M K Shastri. Right, sir.
and uh, sir what is this right right so am i clear to everyone yes sir you are clear yes sir, yes, sir. remember this point use it use no. it thank you sir ready but see we will be study only certain parts and certain things which are required if i teach you too many things you will forget and you will confuse right possible the two times he is an extra this so my patient and i'm sure you will get very good right thank you so thank much thank you sir good day thank we'll you tomorrow again thank you so much for your cooperation internet was very bad today but we are thankful to god that we were able to speak each other with all this ups and downs with all the classes over today's topic is finished we have to more topics more topics are left we will continue with the same thank you so much about you good night about you